चुनमुन फाइंड फ्रीडम बाय कमलेश मोहिंद्रा इलिस्ट्रेशन आशीष सेन गुप्ता स्वामी वॉज स्ट्रॉलिंग विद हर मदर वी सडनली शी सो अ स्मॉल बर्ड लाइंग इन ट्रेन लुक मम्मी अबर्टी वेर इज हर मदर वेर इज हर होम she asked her mother before her mother could reply sumi pulled her dupatta and said poor oh, birdy mummy please let's take her to our home we shall not leave without her today slowly and carefully sumi's mother lifted the bird she wrapped in her handkerchief The bird had a broken leg. She was unable to stand on her feet. She was in a acute pain, and she couldn't even open her eyes properly. Cuckoo, cuckoo! Dear little birdie, don't worry. We shall take care of you. You will be all right soon. Sumi petted her. On reaching home, Sumi ran to tell her brother. Come, Ravi, hurry! See, we have bought a sweet little baji. We picked it from a train. Mummy has no objection. She can stay with us. Is that true? Exclaimed Ravi, running towards Sumi joyfully. Oh, poor baji! Her one leg is broken. Kissing the bird, Ravi said, "Even her eyes are closed because of the pain." Don't worry, little birdy. You will be fine soon. With the help of the mother, both the children tied a matchstick to straighten the bird's broken leg. They also made her drink some water with the help of a dropper. Soon the bird felt better and opened her eyes. After a while they prepared a soft bed for the bird in a cushion box and Sumi gently placed her on it saying, "Good night little one. Sleep comfortably, birdie. When we meet tomorrow, I'm sure you will be creeping as usual," said Ravi. Back in their bedroom, Sumi complained. Big brother, little birdie never told us her name. Ravi began to laugh. She is fast asleep now. Why don't you think of a name for her? I have two in mind. Offer Sumi snapping her fingers. Munia and Chamun. Chamun is fine. Ravi answered before the two went to sleep. Get up, Sumi, hurry! Ravi shouted to wake up his sister in the morning. Is Chamun fine now? Is she out of her bed? Inquired Sumi as soon as she opened her eyes. Chamun is not only out of her bed; she is out on her feet, creeping joyfully. Mummy has fed her bread, soft and milk for breakfast. Said Ravi. Hearing this, Sumi ran towards Chamun. The bird was creeping, while the dog Gabu listened to her instantly. Chamun and Gabu soon became very good friends. Gabu kept guard on her. Manu, the pet cat of the gardener Abdul, was fond of eating birds. But whenever Manu tried to get near Chamun, Gabu started barking as if in warning. You can't enter. Run away from here or else. Chamun belongs to us. Scared Manu runs away. Chamun then creeps louder. To thank Gabu, as time passed, Chamun recovered. Ravi and Sumi then decided to remove the magic stick from her leg. She started hopping a little on her own. Sometime she sat on Gabu's back for a joyride. 
all seeing Ravi or Sumi checking her bath. Chunmun wanted to do the same. She enjoyed soaking herself in water. She felt happy afterwards the fluttered her wet wings in excitement. With the passing of time, Chunmun could fly for a small distance inside the house. One day, Sumi and Ravi took Chunmun to the garden outside. Gabo also came along. Chunmun liked it. She liked the trees, the leaves and the fruits. She crept joyfully dancing and hopping from one place to another. Whoever Gabo kept an eye on the cat. Slowly Chunmun started spending more and more time in the garden. Sometimes Gabu carried her back to the house. Both Gabu and Chunmun would then eat out of the same pot, enjoying every moment spent together. Chunmun gained back her strength. She started flying higher. Now she was out of reach of Manu, the cat. She even started slipping on the trees. Whenever she wanted to meet Sumi and Ravi, she would fly into the house and creep loudly. She liked to sit on Sumi or Ravi's shoulder and sometimes on Gabu's back for a chat with him. Sumi and Ravi were very happy. Chunmun too is happy. She can fly higher and higher. When the children offer her bread crumbs to eat, the creeps louder and louder, as if telling them, I am fine, I can fly and I am free. The End